Hey guys, Jeffrey from Headstrong Training Systems here. So today I wanna to talk about the role that the scapula plays in the deadlift, or essentially in any movement where you have, you're holding weights that um, are suspended above the ground. Now, for examples of that would be, say you're doing dumbbell audios where you're holding the dumbbells in front of you, or you're doing uh, maybe barbell rows and you have the um, barbell in front of you there. Now, when I talk about the scapula in these type of movements, I want to say that the area which or the topic I'll be addressing is scapular retraction during these movements. Now, a very common myth that I hear is that um, during these movements, you see that people will be retracting their scapula. So say I'm in the deadlift position, that I, they, I see athletes actually actively retract their scapula during the movement because they think that it will assist with their movement. Now, first of all, I want to, I want to say that there are two key problems with this. Um, firstly, when you retract the scapula, your arms shorten. So you'll see that, say, this is me in the deadlift position. I've got my long arms gripping onto the bar. When I retract my scapula, my arms will raise. My arms will elevate. That's me retracting my scapula. And you'll see that my arms will shorten. Now, when your arms shorten, you're, you're essentially increasing the range of motion that the barbell has to travel during the deadlift. And so you're making the movement a lot harder for yourself. So that's one of the reasons, um, that's one of the problems with retracting your scapula. Now onto the second issue, or perhaps the biggest issue. The problem with retracting your scapula on the deadlift, or, or if you're saying you're holding heavy dumbbells during RDOs, is that you switch, you switch the anchor or lever that's um, att attaching your body to the barbell. Now, what I mean by that is, say I'm about to perform the deadlift. When, right now, in my standing position, or when I break the bar off the ground, my arms solely act as levers. They, they are the only thing that's connecting the barbell to my body. Without them, the barbell wouldn't come off the ground because there'd be nothing attaching the barbell to my body. As such, when I use my arms as levers to break the ground, my back takes all the tension or my back acts as the sole, the primary muscle group that attaches using my arms to the barbell. So essentially, this is my back my back is holding the weight up via my arms, which act as levers. Now, if I was to retract my scapula, you'll see that my arms, first of all, they shorten, but secondly, my scapula is now taking the weight. It's no longer my back that's taking the weight. The scapula, that's the retracted scapula, you see when you retract your scapula, that there is movement in the back. The scapula is what's taking the weight, and that attaches to the bar via my arms. So, because the scapula is able to create retraction. During that moment of retraction, that scapula is all that is taking the mass of the bar. It's no longer your back. So that's the problem with using, or using a scapula, or retracting a scapula during these type of movements. Now, the scapula is a small muscle group. Um, primarily does protraction, does retraction, does lateral rotation. Now, the thing is, the scapula is unable to hold that amount of weight. It needs the body to be the primary muscle group that attaches onto the barbell. So if, you, if you're forcing your scapula to take that amount of weight, then usually most of the time, the scapula is unable to do so. But at times where it's, it's a lower weight, say with dumbbells, and you're able to do that retraction with that weight, you're putting yourself at risk of injury because simply the, the scapula is not responsible and is not usually not able to hold that amount of weight during that motion because essentially when say this is your bottom position with your length and arms you're holding onto that weight this this little couple centimeters of movement of the scap being retracted that's you moving the weight up and that's not the back doing the moving that's your scapula doing the moving so I'll, it's very important that you guys are able to differentiate um, between the back performing the movement and your scapula taking the mat weight so I know that was a bit of a confusing topic for you guys today. Long story short, don't retract your scapula during your deadlifts because um, it forces your scapula to take a lot of the weight. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I know it was a bit confusing. Feel free to reach out if you have any further questions. Um, and then I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.